Okay, in today's video, we are going to talk about should or should you not go to a coding bootcamp? During this video, my perspective is mainly because I am someone who actually attended a coding bootcamp about three years ago, and I want to talk to you today about the pros and cons of coding bootcamps. By the end of this video, I hope you have a clear understanding if going to a coding bootcamp is something that you should pursue or if you should do it another avenue, such as self-teaching or maybe going back to university. Before I get into the pros and cons of a coding bootcamp though, let me tell you my thinking as to why I decided to go to a coding bootcamp. It was in my last year of university, I was going to school for graphic communications management. So it was more focused on graphic design, management courses, different things like that. But I discovered coding in my fourth year of university, my last year, and I instantly fell in love with it. But I knew I didn't want to go back to school for another four years and get another degree. But I also didn't know if I wanted to self-teach or do a coding bootcamp. At the end of the day, I decided to go with doing a coding bootcamp. I decided to go with a coding bootcamp more because I knew my learning style. I knew that I really wanted to get a job as soon as possible as someone who was just graduating university. And also too, I really wanted to ramp up my learning process. And I wasn't someone or I'm not someone who can just sit down and learn a whole new skill alone. I like to do it in a community sense or have the option to have people to ask or ask for help. And that was all that a coding bootcamp brought to me. It wasn't because I thought it would, I would be able to learn more than I would on my own or that it would help to have a cert certificate of a coding bootcamp. I didn't think anything like that. It was more so for the support and encouragement that working in a community, which for me at the time was a coding bootcamp rock. Okay, and before I get into the pros and cons too, often when I make these videos around coding bootcamps, I get asked, well, did you get a job afterwards, like in your field or in your industry? And the answer is yes. I started out as a QA, so I didn't just go into a developer role right away. I did that for a few months and then I got into a developer role. And now I've been a software developer for just over three years, three years now. So. It's been one of the best decisions for me going to a coding bootcamp. I think too, one of the things to keep in mind, there are so many different opinions about coding bootcamps because the quality of them varies so much. So where my opinion might be a positive one because my experience, there's a lot of negatives as well because of others' experiences and, and a lot more positive. So really ensure when you're considering going to a coding bootcamp that you've done your research on the bootcamp itself. Okay, let's talk about some pros of a coding bootcamp. For me, one of the biggest pros, as I mentioned, was the aspect of community. The aspect that if I ever got stuck on something, I could literally turn over and ask someone after, you know, the Googling your heart out kind of thing. But that sense of support and community was huge. Another pro for me was networking. Similar to community, the networking aspect was really big. The people you are going to this coding bootcamp with, they're all looking for the same end goal typically, which is to get a job. And that can be either really competitive in ways, but also too really helpful because if someone gets hired at say a company or a startup, there might be more positions. And if you've spent your time networking well during your coding bootcamp, then maybe they will say, hey, come in for an interview or I would recommend this person I went to school with. As well at my coding bootcamp, I found they did a really good job at uh, placing you in front of employers. So whether it be demo day, where you have to demo to different employers, your projects you're making, or going to different networking events, but really trying to full picture, full circle, uh, get you involved in the tech community. Another pro for me anyways, was time. It It's kind of a pro and a con, but I'm gonna talk about it from the pro side to begin with, which is you aren't going to school for four years, especially as someone who went to school for four years for my, my degree, I didn't want to go back to school for another four years to get a computer science degree. The con to that is obviously it's such a short period of time that you're learning a lot of technologies packed in. So you're definitely not going to come out of the boot camp with the same knowledge as someone that went to school for four years or has been working for a while. It's still going to be very fresh and new to you but we'll talk about that in the cons. But a pro is also the time that you will get back from it. Especially nowadays, I think a lot of people are wanting to get into the tech industry or coding, and they're not just coming right out of high school. They're wanting to do a career switch or are in different stages of their life where going to university for four years just isn't realistic. I think that's the main pros. For me, another pro, I guess, would be that I made sure when looking for a coding bootcamp that they were teaching very in-demand uh, technologies. And how I relayed 
how I figured out that that's what they were teaching is seeing a their curriculum and then also too looking on job postings and seeing if those things matched up. As well, I talked to some people in the industry to say, hey, is this coding bootcamp good? What are your thoughts on it? Would you hire from there? This is what they're teaching. Would you say that this is very industry standard right now or in demand? And do your research. You can't just go on their website and be like, oh, this looks good. Or, oh, my friend went here. Do your research, talk to people in the industry, find out about its reputation. That is huge. Okay, now let's go to cons. Obviously a big con for coding boot camps is they are very expensive. They can be from $10,000 upwards and it's a lot of money for a very short time. That being said though, when you compare it to going back to university, it is quite, it is more affordable in that sense, but also too, you're not learning near as much. Cost is definitely a con. I have seen though that more uh, boot camps are doing more payment plans, but you want to ensure that if you are doing a payment plan, it's legit or it's proper, I guess you could say. To go along with cost, it's one of those things that after you graduate from your coding bootcamp, it's not guaranteed that you will get a job afterwards. And what I mean by that is a lot of, or some coding bootcamps have this false pretense that they really market hard that in 30 days after graduating, you'll get a job or 90% of our students have a job in 10 days or different things like that. And you really have to be careful about that and wonder, okay, well, what are those jobs? Are they actually developer jobs? What are those roles? And for me, when I graduated my coding bootcamp, I was very in the mindset that I learned so much and I still knew I had so much more to learn. And that's why I spent a lot of time after my coding bootcamp self-teaching and really continuing to ramp up. It gave me the basis, the base of the skills that I needed, but I really still needed to put in the work afterwards. And I think a lot of people forget that once they graduate a coding bootcamp, just because they have a certificate or they've gone through the program doesn't mean that they're necessarily ready. Some may be, and some may need to take some more time and self-teach. So you have to be prepared for that too. So going back to, will you get a job after a coding bootcamp? The answer is, it's up to you. Granted, it's dependent on the job market and where you live, of course, but it's up to you if you want to continue to grow and evolve your skills and self-teach and based on what employers are looking for and kind of navigate your skills in that direction. Another con that we talked about in the pros, but is also a big con, is is time. As much as it is a pro in the sense that you are not taking as much time of your life or your schedule to go back to school, that's the con as well because you're learning so much and if you don't come from a programming or any kind of tech background, it can be very overwhelming at first as to so much information being thrown at you so quickly. You're trying to learn, you're seeing other people go ahead, some people behind, some people dropping out. It's like this whole weird, strange world and it's all based on time because everyone at the end of the day wants to get a job through this. So they're trying to ramp up their skills as quickly as possible. For me, one of the things that really helped make time not a burden during my coding bootcamp is allowing myself time, especially after the bootcamp. So saying, okay, I know I need a job, but why not take an extra month or month and a half after the coding bootcamp and just continue to self-teach? Granted, this isn't something that everyone can do, but if you are able to give yourself a little bit of extra time before you start job hunting, I would definitely recommend doing so. And that kind of brings me to my next point, which is neither a pro or con, but one of the questions I get asked a lot in regards to coding boot camps is when should I start job hunt? When should I start job hunting during my coding boot camp? And my answer is wait until you are done. This obviously will be dependent on how quickly you need a job, but going to coding boot camps is like a job in itself. It's very intense, you're learning a lot and so time consuming. Looking for a job is pretty much the same. It's very intense, it's time consuming, and it's a job in itself looking for a job. So if you are able to focus solely on your coding bootcamp while it's going on, I really recommend that. And then once you graduate, start focusing on the job hunt. And the good thing is when you're at a coding bootcamp during that time, you can still be networking and meeting people and really setting yourself up for when you are looking for a job, there's a lot of contacts that you already have. These are some of the pros and cons of going to a coding bootcamp. Let me know down below your thoughts on coding bootcamps. Have you attended one? Uh, would you attend one? My experience is really good, but I know everyone is super different. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon.